dream from a movie scene to made of people in my dreams the last time if I recall was a feeling of being alone I don't know if where I'm going isn't far but in case I go no need to be stressed gotta take it Oh, so much eating, a lot of food. The, the detox starts today. My company does performance reviews every six months, and basically, how that works is we get some time to review ourselves, rate our performance and our own strengths and weaknesses, and our manager will do the same thing. So, in this meeting, we went through our responses together, and I shared some open and candid feedback on how I was feeling about the role. So things mostly aligned and he did say that I was performing quite well in respect to my role description. However, for me to take my career to the next level, I would need to step up outside my comfort zone even further and demonstrate leadership capabilities on my next project. So we'll see how that goes. Ever since we left, I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said in case. I think I'm gonna spend the next 15 to 20 minutes kind of reflecting on that conversation and taking some notes for myself, just when everything is still fresh in my mind. And then when I'm done with that, I might spend around half an hour before lunch to wrap up some analysis that I was going to present in this 2.30 meeting that I have today. Um, that shouldn't take me too long. It's kind of like an ad hoc piece of work where I already have the code ready and it's just about running a few pivot tables and having those numbers ready to share with the stakeholders. These volumes that I'm running are for a product campaign that the business wanted to resume by next week. I am in charge of the risk selection criteria, so here I'm running the forecasted volumes for another team to apply their propensity model on top. So I've made some soy sauce eggs, some char siu for the ramen. I've got the ramen cooking right now and the stock base, the bean sprouts and also some corn kernels for decoration on top. I 
I get more scared as a damn grown up This ain't a hookup, we could just burn up I, I, I feel you so close up I'm so sorry Here I'm spending one hour in concentration land Carefully reviewing a script that I had to productionize by the end of the week This quarter, I'm going to be working on a model build with a co-worker. In this meeting, we are discussing project scope and timelines, what we are trying to achieve, key stakeholders, as well as specifics to the model such as exclusions, sample design and key metrics of success. It's 4.30 right now and I finally finished all my meetings for the day. I am so tired. I think I'm going to go outside for a stretch. quite a few questions and DMs regarding salaries in the Australian analytics industry. So for those of you that are new to my channel or you found me through this video, hi, my name is Vivian and I am a data scientist working in Sydney and I've been in this industry for the last five or so years. Money is unfortunately still a very taboo topic to talk about, but I really think that in the 21st century, we should be normalizing these chats to make sure that we are all getting compensated fairly. I've watched a lot of tech YouTubers working in American companies openly share their compensation on YouTube and after watching the videos, I realized that Australian salaries are actually structured quite differently. So I thought to sit down and make this chit chat video with you to kind of clarify things a little. Basically in the analytics industry here in Australia, our compensation is split up into two main sections. So the first one is your base salary. So this is your annual income pre-tax. So if you hear people out there say, I make $100,000 per year, they're basically talking about their base salary. Keep in mind that your employer will also contribute an additional 10% on top to your superannuation fund or retirement fund. I think in the US these are called 401ks or your Roth IRAs. There is also an annual performance bonus in most companies that I've worked at. This bonus has come to around 10% of your base salary. However, I know it can range between getting nothing if your company has had a bad year to maybe around 30%. Also keep in mind that these figures are just for like the data industry in particular, as other industries like investment banking or consulting generally have higher bonuses. And this bonus can be paid in cash or in stocks, depending on your company. I've also had a few friends receive a sign-on bonus. So this is basically when you accept a company's offer and they will offer you maybe a once-off payment of say 15 to 20K just to accept the offer and sign the contract. I've personally never received a sign-on bonus for any of the roles that I've worked for. I feel like sign-on bonuses are generally not that common in the analytics industry, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Now onto the main difference with US companies, where I've heard companies generally have equity or stock options available to their employees. Now these can be very generous figures, which are normally vested over a certain period of time. So for example, you might get $100,000 vested over four years, which means that if you leave the company after four years, you will receive an additional $100,000. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard this concept, I was in disbelief because this was something that I had never really experienced here in an Australian company. Anyway, I hope this segment provided some kind of clarity for you if you're working overseas and you were considering working in Australia, then this is kind of how our general compensation is structured. Now back into the rest of the video. 
and wrapping up the workday with some quantitative analysis that would help with our sample design for the model build. As the timelines were quite tight, I really needed to finish this and share it with my immediate team before the end of the day. February is going to be a hectic month for me, but I want to challenge myself to see what I can achieve. Today is the 1st of February and also the first day of the Lunar New Year. I wanted to wish everyone a safe and happy new year. I'm gonna go to bed once I finish the first episode of All of Us Are Dead, which is this Korean TV show that is trending on Netflix right now, so I thought that I'd better watch it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here and I will see you in my next video.